Alrighty, welcome back. The EV industry has been growing in leaps and bounds these past few years. It is expected to exceed $800 billion by 2027. Breakthroughs in battery technologies, specifically, have made not only cars, but trucks and semis possible. When you think of electric cars, you might think of Tesla, Rivian, or even Neo. The benefits of these cars are numerous, such as lower overall cost of ownership, lower life cycle maintenance, as there are fewer moving parts, and most notably, the environmental impact. As a result, demand is rising faster than these companies can produce these cars. Ordering a Tesla can take anywhere from 2 to 10 weeks because of these massive backlogs of vehicles. However, there is a new company entering the industry that has a plan to speed up and simplify the assembly process. Though unlike Tesla, they plan to make smaller, not larger factories to accommodate the demand. Since 1913, assembly lines have been used to mass-produce consumer cars. This idea was pioneered by Henry Ford and made producing a car eight times faster. For 107 years, it has been the go-to for internal combustion and electric vehicles alike. Though EV company Arrival believes it's time for a complete revamp of the assembly line process. They have coined their new factories microfactories, a stark difference to the gigafactories that Tesla has been building. The idea behind microfactories is to simplify the production process and make it completely modular so that it can be replicated to accommodate the space requirements. Consequently, Arrival claims their factories can fit in a standard size warehouse, which is 16,400 square feet. This would allow these microfactories to be built in almost all major cities making shipping costs essentially zero. They claim this will allow them to cut costs per unit by up to 30%. Another benefit of these microfactories is the decentralized nature of production. If one plant were to be shut down, it would not have as large of an impact on production as if a gig factory was shut down. Tesla's car production dropped by over one third throughout this pandemic, while if several rival microfactories were to be shut down, the effect would be negligible. So we know the benefits, but how exactly will these micro factories function? Well, to understand it, we first need to look at the materials involved in making arrival vehicles. Nearly all other cars are built on a steel chassis with stamped metal sheets forming the body. The process of stamping sheet metal is a complicated process involving several large machines that are all used to make one part on the car. Additionally, everything must be welded together afterwards. However, Arrival has opted for an aluminum frame and its proprietary composite material for the body, entirely removing the process of stamping and welding from the manufacturing process. Instead, the composite material, 50% lighter than traditional steel, is molded into whatever shape necessary for all the Arrival vehicles. But the ingenuity doesn't stop there. Arrival uses what they call modularity in their designs, which essentially means that one component is used in all of their vehicles. This means production of only one component and a seamless replacement process. Because of these drastic decreases in large machinery, Arrival has done away completely with the assembly line, allowing for everything to be constructed by 10 to 12 machines in a single cell in the micro factory. Overall, this means that one micro factory can produce 1,000 buses per year in only a 16,400 square foot building. If we take a look at Tesla's Gigafactories, we see they have a much different approach. The Gigafactory in Shanghai can produce 150,000 cars per year and is housed in a 4.9 million square foot facility, though that isn't the entire picture. If we take the 16,400 square feet of a standard warehouse, and divide it by the thousand vehicles that can be made per year, we get 16.4 square feet per vehicle. But if we divide the 4.9 million square feet by the 150,000 cars a gigafactory can produce, we get 32.7 square feet. Therefore, the setup that Arrival has is twice as space efficient as that of Tesla's. And that's important, as microfactories will be built in cities where space is much less abundant. But are these microfactories also more cost effective? After all, that is a much more important measure of success. Though this is a bit more difficult to measure than space efficiency, as cars are made year over year. 
we'll use a 20 year period for our calculation. A gigafactory costs an estimated $1 billion to construct. And if it can make 150,000 cars per year, it can make 3 million in 20 years. So each car costs $333 of factory space. Arrival factories are estimated to cost around $50 million each and can produce 1,000 buses per year or 20,000 in 20 years. That comes out to $2,500 of factory space, which means that gigafactories are much more cost effective. This is not very surprising as anything done in bulk is often cheaper. However, for what Arrival's micro factories are built for, to be smaller and more efficient, they certainly have achieved their goal. Being built in major cities around the world means cutting shipping costs and offsetting the more expensive factory cost per car. All in all, Arrival's overhaul of the traditional assembly line system is unique and will hopefully inspire others to reimagine old and outdated systems. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to help out the channel, and I will see you all soon with a brand new video.